Ah, oh, you got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, better, better, better. So, welcome everybody. This is a uh, battle arena. We switched it up from Tuesday to Thursday tonight. And as a result, we're going really early. <coughs> Apparently. Yeah. So, I am uh, haberdashing. I'm joined by uh, Spork. Is it Spork V or Spork 5? Most people just call me Spork. Just Spork. Fair enough. Yep. I'll be getting into Champion Select here soon. Just waiting uh ugly tacos got it oh man okay here we go Let's get it started off with some good bands here. Have you played anything since the uh, new newest patch? I got one game of the new victor in. It was glorious. <laughs> uh, I, I see what you I see what you're doing there. It was glorious. I'm, I'm a very <laughs> big victor fan, so yeah. So I'm still unclear. You get to upgrade all of his abilities now, or is it just one still? You get to upgrade them all now. Okay, because they made it was a little ambiguous still in the notes, but that's great that you get to upgrade all of them. Yeah, you get a little less power for each upgrade, mm -hmm. but now you can upgrade them all over time, so, you know. Yeah, oh. How do you feel about the ultimate upgrade? Oh, the upgrade's nice. I don't like the new graphics for it. Yeah? It just, like, when it's I saw little, it's the... It's a circle. It's like, yeah. where, where'd my Chaos Storm of Doom go? It's now a blue circle of moderate pain. <laughs> well, they did reduce the damage on it, so I guess that's only fair. Did they? I don't remember that much. I think they reduced the tick time or something like that. Or made it longer between ticks or something. But overall, it's still a damage reduction. Alright, bands coming in. We got Nidalee and Tristana from the blue team, and Morgana and Syndra from the purple team. I don't normally see Syndra bands too much. Like, I get uh, why you'd want to yeah, band. They're really normal, but yeah, Syndra's a bit yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know, if someone just really can't play against Syndra, that's fine. She's still a really strong pick, and um, you know at this level people can start actually learning to play her and play her well. Yeah, Vi is a very different one. Mm-hmm. Vi you don't hardly even see anymore. Oh, you sh I mean, you should, because Vi is still you amazing, could. but just yeah. Nobody plays her, just people seem to have forgotten she exists. Yeah, exactly. All right, where does that leave us here? Alistar is the last ban, also pretty standard. Although, I don't know if we just haven't seen Alistar because he's always banned anymore, or if he's just kind of fallen out of top lane. I think it's mostly everybody just keeps banning him. Yeah. I mean, he's not... Oh, yeah, that's great, I love you. Like, he's not as good as he used to be since they got rid of the whole auto attack after W thing. Mm-hmm. It was really dumb. But he's still can lane decently well top lane and then Alistair with items is just stupid because you can't kill him and he CCs you for days. Yep. <laughs> I really like the new splash art for Victor. It is so nice. Like he actually he's he's got hair now. He's still got hair. Okay, so blue team locking in Rise for the top lane. Um Corky and Nami for the bot lane. Hmm. Corky Nami. How do you feel about that uh, combination for the bot lane? It's alright, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. like They're not excessive synergy, but it's not like yeah. it's a bad combo. No, I mean, like, we just normally see, like, a Nami with a more um, a auto attack dependent AD carry. Typically, uh, a little more hyper carry because she peels really well for them. Yeah. Uh, but on the opposite side here, Maokai is an answer to Rise. Uh, Ezreal, and it looks like it's going to be a Lee Sin locked in. Probably. I'm not sure how the Maokai versus Rise is going to work out. It's... Because you want to say the Rise is going to beat him up because of range, but Rise spams so hard, Maokai is going to get so many heals for free. Yeah, that's true. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Mm-hmm. 
I think once they both hit sort of their core items, neither one is going to die. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so we do see the lock in for Lee Sin. Uh, mo should be going into the jungle here. I would assume so. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody jungles Malka anymore because he's too much good. Too good to op. Mm -hmm. I do like the Yasuo with the Nami thing going on. Yeah, I mean it's good that they have some sort of uh, knock up to. Nami is Yasuo. so good for Yasuo too because mm -hmm. it's super easy for her to get knock ups on everybody. Yep. In the still, ultimate bubbles oh, flying. And now they have uh, Wukong as well. To help now they have Wukong out. for even more stupid all yep. power. Yeah. Now, um, Braum is still up. They can lock in for support. Um, I'm not sure oh, I love Braum against this team comp. Wait, what? Well, more as uh, counter to Nami, but... Um, yeah. I guess we're going to see something different for a support. <laughs> Yeah, Lee just messaged me and said I would assume wrong. Oh, I'm assuming the German is actually in the jungle, then it's yeah, a... Yeah, Lee Sin support. Is it Lee Sin support, or yeah. a lane Lee Sin with a Maokai support? Well, Maokai still got TP, so I think it's going to be uh, just like a kill lane bottom with Lee Sin. And Tesla... Yeah. I, uh, how, I, can't, I don't know how long we've been friends. I think it's still another week till I can get you your skin. Oh, uh, yeah. But a kill lane against Corky and Nami? I don't know if that's too smart. <coughs> or of how well it's going to work out. You know, because Corky is going to be able yeah. to get away really easily. So if they're going Everybody to... If they're gone. going to do a kill lane, they need to be focusing on the Nami. Uh, yeah. The thing with Corky, though, is he, he does have the uh, longest cooldown on his escape of all the 80 carries. Mm-hmm. It's, like, ridiculously long. Yeah, but it's, it's so. 25 seconds or something like that. I'm going to actually go look. Okay, yeah. It's, but it's I know it is It is the that. long... I know it is the longest. It's mm -hmm. 20 plus. Yeah. 26 seconds rank one, three and three seconds off every time you rank it up. So. Okay. So that's pretty good and long. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time to regroup and re-engage if he does get out, but... Then he's got his flash. Yeah, Nami is gonna have a hard time actually locking down if it is Lisa and Ezreal, yeah. just because they're so mobile and her like the bubble's fairly slow still moving. So if they're on top of things, they can just make it impossible for her to, to hit bubbles. But it should be interesting. So, um, yeah, Wukong in the jungle. You should be. I just had a thought. What's that? I wonder if Victor's ult interrupts Wukong's ult. I don't know, actually. Because it's, it, it's no longer a silence, now it's an interrupts channels. Yeah. Which I don't think silence stopped a, it before, but I don't know if it's considered a channel or not. No, it's not a channel. Like, um, when Fiddlesticks yeah, is getting ready for his bar. crow storm or... Yeah, you gotta have a cast bar, ultimate. I think. Yeah. For the count. Yeah, probably not, but... Should be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything he can actually interrupt on the other team. It's really limited now because there's so yeah. few actual channels in this game. I think and a few things good. you think are probably channels aren't actually called, considered a channel. Mm -hmm. I think a Nivea ult is one of the few that actually is still considered a channel. Because you see, see her while she, while her ults up, she will it will stop. Okay. So I would presume that it would stop hers. I have yet to face a Nivea with two victors. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Then you got like fiddlesticks and not much else. Yeah, most of like they do have channels, but they're just so quick that it's hard to do anything. This is the global them. alts, I guess, with like yeah. Karthus and Shen and Twisted Fate. Yeah. And not many of them. Caitlyn. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> so it's a very short list now, sadly. Mm hmm. I just think Riots is going to get rid of all the silences in the game. There's they just hate silences now. They seem to hate silences on non-supports or something, because they did give so er, yeah. Soraka the new silence field thing. That's true. Which is really weird to play against, for the record. You, uh, you got a chance to play against it? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, my game today, I did Team Builder Victor game, and we had Soraka's on both teams. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. really weird, just like the circle, you just suddenly are silenced if you walk into it, and you walk out, you're fine. Yeah, it doesn't have, it just, it's like almost immediately? 
that comes it, up. It's, it's, as soon as you're out of the circle, you're no longer silenced. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just really weird to play against. Yeah, because it's such a it's a new mechanic. Yeah, it'll take some time to get used to it. Um, Definitely. Can she like get roots off reliably now? With that um, ability, I got rooted m several times, but largely because it's really hard to tell when it's about to time out. Mm -hmm. And I, I just don't have a feel for how long it lasts yet, because you know it's a brand new thing. Yeah. So, I think time will tell based on once more people like she's been out for longer, more people have played her. You played against her, mm -hmm. just to see that, because I, I don't know. Yeah. It seems easy enough to get a ro get rooted right now, but that's because nobody knows how long it's gonna yeah. take for it pops and roots you. Yeah, well, I think like if you pop it down and immediately do star call after that, you should be able to get a root off. Well, the root's based on t a timeout period, I think. Yeah, it's one. It's one point so. five seconds, so it's like swaying. Yeah. So anyone yeah, who's exactly. in it at the very end gets rooted. Yeah, I but, feel like yeah. I don't know if I just missed it or if there just isn't like a visual thing so you can see it about the timeout. Yeah, well, I mean, like, well, like swaying is like an like swaying. You can, audio you can cue. kind. Yeah, you can kind of see when it's about to snap on you, and you know mm -hmm. if you need to emergency flash out or something. But you don't really get that in the Soraka one the same. Yeah. I don't know if it'll change that or not, but... Yeah, so, uh, if anyone here is watching has any questions about the game, or if you're in our battle arena game right now and want uh, feedback right away, just type it in in chat, and we'll m make sure to get back to you. Um, let's do a quick plug for the T-Force here. This is uh, Battle Arena hosted to you uh, by the Trinity Force Podcast. You can check them out at www.trinityforcepodcast.com. You can find all their podcasts there, including the Trinity Force proper, the uh, LCS Rundown, and the Oz LOL Podcast. Uh, in addition, you can find all the information for Battle Arena and Bronze Boot Camp. So go over there, check out some stuff. I'm sure you'll learn some stuff about the game. Are you in the game yet? <laughs> no, apparently Wukong was on a toaster. Oh, oh yeah. He's speeding like up a... now. He was at 20% for the longest time. Yeah, man. Probably crashed the game or something. I don't know. Yeah, everyone in this game is Challenger. Clearly. <laughs> well, it's by the borders that I have for the loading screen. <laughs> it looks like oh, they're Challenger. <laughs> Challenger borders on the screen. I like it. <laughs> No, this is a uh, bronze boot camp. It's for anyone between bronze and uh, gold. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. We do have two plats in this game, I believe. Plat five. We there, yeah. It's a loose sort of definition, loose. so we do allow people that are wood plat and then plat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now if I can figure out how blue team is or purple team rather is working, the okay, greats are gonna actually sit on my overlay and track who's where. Yeah. Which one of you is being the weirdo support of the day? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Elise Sin. Very possibly. Mm -hmm. I feel like Maokai's a better support choice, though. Well, yeah. He's got the root and the knockback versus, hey, look, I have a shield and I have mild slow. Mm -hmm. And as far as, like, in kill AD carry, Ezreal's not that strong as one. No, he's more yeah, of a harass like, type than really a... Yeah. Get up in your face and murder you. That's more of like a Graves Lucian. or Lucian. Lucian yeah. Graves. Corky's actually pretty solid at that too. Yep. Especially once you get six. Oh god, yeah. Uh, let's see, Victor. Okay. Hmm. So with the new Victor updates, that hurts his early game a little bit, doesn't it? Or um, you don't have you like don't the mid-game power spike. You don't spike the same when you get your augment because mm -hmm. it's like it used to be. You'd get your augment if you get that's 45 flat AP, and the burn, which was just so much power as soon as you hit that thousand gold. Yeah. Whereas right now you're getting it gives you you start at plus three AP per level. Every time you upgrade it, you get another plus one AP per uh, level, twenty flat AP, and 150 mana. Yeah. So. You get more at the end of the game, but it's not near as spiky. Yeah. So. But he still is pretty solid in lane. He actually trades better early with this Q, since they changed it to have like a Shane proc kind of thing on it. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good for trading. So do you max that first? Uh, no, I've still been maxing the laser for wave clear. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you run the risk of being just shoved in really hard. Yeah. 
But you can trade real nice. I've certainly considered. I haven't gotten to test it yet. Only played like half a dozen games. I played them a bit on PVE too. So mm -hmm. I haven't had enough to really test it out. It might be a viable thing now, though. We'll see. Yeah, it couldn't hurt to try different ways. Yeah, it's his Q is certainly a lot stronger right now. Mm -hmm. As Craven just stands there and dies. Uh, might be having some smelling connect smelling pro yep. connection problems. Yeah. All right. We got a pause coming out right now, so why don't we take a minute and look at some of the items. Um, oh, we're going to get right back into the game here. But Apparently. nothing looks too out of place, I guess, for items. No, not really. Yeah, he's having some weird lag right now. Yeah. So we'll see if that gets any better. I hope so. It definitely doesn't make the game fun. Interesting that Jarvan actually started with the sweeper instead of the ward rinket. Mm -hmm. Usually you, you'll start with the, like you'll first back swap to the sweeper from the ward rinket, but yeah. you often will take that um, ward rinket right early so you can, you know, make sure nobody steals your red or something. Make sure there's no shock in that bush. Or what have you. At least in going in already, but he's just, yeah, just gonna receive tons of damage back onto him if he tries to do that. It's so risky. Mm -hmm. This the whole Lee Sin support thing, I don't know. I almost wonder if he should have gone, um, what's it called? Relic Shield instead of coin. Yeah. Oh. Nice counter, nice nah, gank by Darvin there. That was a very good counter gank. Yeah. I guess it wasn't a counter gank, really. Well, not so much. More counter-engage. <laughs> yeah. Wukong was there for the counter gang, except he was already over by the time he got there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just, you know... Uh, yeah, that was at three minutes. He did have a ward on that side, which is interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure it would have mattered much if Jarvan... I think he thought he could get the kill and still get away, even if Jarvan showed up. Uh-huh. But... It's pretty sketchy with trades like that early yeah. against somebody like Victor who gets a shield. And he was pretty low to start so, out that. Yeah. Like, they were both real low, just Victor took advantage of the fact that he's got a shield in his kit, so he could just shield that extra little bit of damage and trade it off. If he'd been somebody who wasn't Victor, he probably would have got the kill there. Probably. Well, not the new Victor. Actually, old Victor, he probably still would have got the kill because yeah. of the shield delay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like one tick away from being dead there. Yeah. So top lane rises to get able to obviously farm a little bit better at this point. Um, but neither one of them really looking for too much aggression. Bottom lane again. Leeson going on to Nami puts down he the ignite. Really wants some blood there. Yep. And they got if they want this lane to work, they need to get a kill. Wow. Before they hit he level is six. Super aggro. He got the Nami good and low, but he is yeah. not in a happy place, and, and now he's dead. Yeah, and obviously Ezreal isn't communicating that much with him. Yeah, not at all. Because it's, yeah. it's the kind of lane where you really need to be on comms for it to work, if at all. Because it's just so weird. Well, I mean, Jeez. like you can, yeah, say I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna be like ham the whole time. So when I go in, just go in with me. Yeah. You know, but yeah, it definitely does help when you have comms for that sort of thing to work. Mm -hmm. I guess that new Q is really helping out Victor to out harass. At it helps a lot in the early. And his Yas was not quite respecting the the gravity field the same. Mm -hmm. Like he he keeps getting caught right in the edge of it. Not quite. I don't think he's just got the feeling quite down for how long it takes to stun him. Mm -hmm. He's getting on it and then he's getting stunned right on the edge, which is well, it's for all kinds of free trades for Victor then. <laughs> Jarvan going for the quill coat, and he picks up a longsword with that? That seems a little... kind of all over the place. It's a little kind of reductive, yeah. Yeah. Quill coat implies full tank. Mm -hmm. Then what's he gonna build with the longsword? Brutalizer, Brutalizer maybe? Yeah, that's uh, kind of odd. I feel like Jarvan's the kind you'd, you'd want to go Elder Lizard on much more of the time. Just because he's already got such good early gank potential. 
a little more damage on that is so huge. Yeah. You're you just can gonna, already assume that guys are going to be pretty tanky. At yeah. This point. Uh, exactly. You're not like your team's lacking for tankiness because you got a Maokai and a Lee Sin. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah. Tanky you're gonna get. And he had that early um, sweeping lens, so I would have rather seen the money go towards a boots or, you know, maybe yeah, um, a pink ward or something, just to help control vision a little bit more. And, you know, so he can gank as often as he can. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the quote hook does give him that ward, which is yeah. really nice. But I don't feel like it's really the optimal jungle item for him. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the item for, like, pure tank junglers, which Jarvan really isn't. No. Oh. He's just a... Like, he he's more of a bruiser. He just... He gets tankier. But he also does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. So... Hmm. Ezreal goes back, picks up a tier. We might be seeing a full blue build Ezreal. Which, anyway. If... I'm not a big fan of blue build Ezreal right now. It, I... I want to like it. Like it's still like my favorite build to play, just because it's so much fun. But I mean, oh, Lee Sin just trying to keep going in here. It, but what, they have that kill lane down bottom, and blue build is not the build you want to go with that. No, it's it's not an early power build at all. It's a much later game mm -hmm. kind of kite build, which again, which is not something his team really needs either. Like his team no. isn't really lacking for utility. Mm -hmm. His team, if anything, is going to be lacking for damage. Yeah. So it's not a great build in this team comp, particularly. Mm -hmm. Interesting to worth, worth noting. So Victor's picked up his first augment already. Yep. And he went for the Q, not for the laser. Which okay. Is, yeah. Well, I guess I mean, playing against Yasuo, it's unlikely that you're going to really be getting a second proc off often. Oh, it's actually, I don't know. It's not too bad actually to land the second proc, but uh -huh. the move speed will make it a lot easier for him to like dodge tornadoes and stuff. Yeah. Should probably be a pretty big deal in this lane. At least in he's landing almost all the cues he can, but he's just not. The least syndrome backup. is strong in him. Yeah, I mean he's got the rest of his team has you know gap closes. They should be able to follow up, but none of them are. Ezreal's yeah. content to just farm at this point. He's playing far too aggressive for how his AD carry has been playing this lane. Blue team's gonna start off dragon at this point. Um, it's still a little bit risky, but they already have. Surprise already teleported down there for yeah, the gank. So they have four down didn't there. Do anything, so. That's pretty much a, well, we're already down here. Might as well take the dragon. Okay. Rise does flash in. Ooh, nice flash by Victor, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Nope. Yep. That was a very oh. nice flash. Oh. Yasuo. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the team communication thing. When it, you know, people start pulling off, everyone should just pull off. And it's then it's one of the things reset. you really got to learn when supporting is you got to get a feel for how aggressive your AD carry is going to be because if mm -hmm. you're getting more aggressive than he is, you're you're not going to be successful at all. Yeah. Because you're going to be at least in his and just always ahead of him and dying a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously. Well, yeah. Huh. That, that, I, I don't even know why he was doing that. I don't know. Uh, Victor is, picks up a Sheen. For his next item here, going so for the Lich Bane thing, it looks like. Yeah, I mean that's definitely an interesting build, and we'll see if that becomes more popular for uh, Victor. Yeah, it's certain. It's certainly an option with the new, just because it fits so well with this Q now. Mm -hmm. It really does kind of lend itself to building Lich Bane. I haven't experimented with it yet, but I've heard a lot of people have a lot of success with it. So, as a first item or just an item in general? As an item in general, I'm not quite sure how often people build it. Yeah, it's a little I early feel to like, tell. Obviously. I feel like you want the Sheen early, but you don't want to convert it to Lich Bane until you got some AP to back it up. Yeah. Which, admittedly, he does get a lot of naturally through the Hex Core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's at 56 but, uh, from the Hex Core right now. Yeah, like, he does get a lot from that naturally, but I feel like he'd probably at least want his second upgrade or, like, an NLR or something before he does that, something like that. Because okay. it's only worth it once you get enough AP to, to pass just mm -hmm. the bait. AD proc. Yeah, Jarvan should not be uh, at the top side at all at this point. They know Dragon is still up and Maokai is already in mid lane. So well, does he know Dragon is up? Has he checked? Dragon, oh, yeah, yeah there's they, a ward they all they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they had two wards on it before, but right, yeah. Um, looks like they're just going to back off, go to back standard lanes to stop 
the rise from split pushing. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah, see, so terrifying in tower eating split push rise. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't do that at all. Yeah. Oh, geez. Ooh. That it was. Looks like they. They might not even trade here, uh, and then Rise might get a double kill from this. He just needs one uh, more kill. Oh, no, the greed. The greed no, is real. Too much. The greed is real, Rise, dude. Oh, you man. you won that gank. You needed to just back off there, man. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, Maokai went in way too early, took a lot of threat before Jarvan was here to back him up. So he was already at like only a couple hundred health by the time Jarvan showed up. Yeah. And then as soon as Jarvan missed his flag and direct combo, he was dead. It was just over from. Yeah, he hasn't been landing a whole lot of those this game. No. Which, admittedly, it's a not an easy skill to land. It's a tricky thing, but like... But if you're gonna be playing Jarvan, you gotta be landing him. If you're trying to set up a gank, it's really not a good thing to have it set up in such a way that if your jungler misses a single skill shot, you die. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just not a position you should be... You should be trying to avoid putting yourself in that kind of position at all. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just so risky. And in that case, it oh, didn't yeah. work out at all. Okay, so Jarvan uh, gets his quill code and he gets a Tiamat right after that. That is a really strange combination of items. But I would rather see him just finish off his um, his spirit item first before getting that. And even then, I'd still, like we said earlier, Brutalizer would have been a better damage item to pick up. Yeah, when you're when you're jungling, you want to finish your jungler item completion because of the gold gen you get off it. Mm -hmm. And then, but he's going in like two completely opposite directions. The Tiamat says, I want to be really aggressive early and do a lot of damage. But then the Quill Coat says, I want to just scale up and be a massive tank late game. Wukong and finding Jarvan in the jungle here. They do have a ward here at the um, blue buff. Jarvan just needs to back up at this point. He doesn't have his team. Yeah, the and they... I'm, actually su I'm surprised Wukong didn't go harder there because he could have taken him easily. Yeah, he did He did have his uh, ult up at that point. But yeah... There's not th too much their bottom lane can do to actually help them at this point. Well then, that was an interesting <laughs> dive. Uh, in mid lane, I didn't see that one. Yeah, the Maokai came in between the turrets, W to onto Yasu, who flashed back to his second tier turret, and then as soon as that flash happened, Maokai should have been running for the hills because he was way deeper than he should have been. Yeah. But he stood there and tried to trade out autos and ended up dying, mm -hmm. just because. Yeah, he had a lot more health than the Yasuo, but Yasuo did a lot more damage, and he just dropped Ignite on him. Cued him, eat away, and laughed, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even have his Rod of Ages yet, so there's not too much, like, tanky stats on the Maokai right now. He's not terribly tanky, and he doesn't do a lot of damage, like... Mm -hmm. Unless he had somebody ba unless he has somebody backing you up, that diving between towers is super risky if you aren't somebody who does a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to know you're gonna get the kill, if not just say, Yeah, I think I can probably get this kill before I die, Yep, kind of thing. Um, when you're building Trinity Force on Corky, you normally see Z item, don't you? Uh, yeah, usually you do the Phage and the Sheen first. Yeah. He doesn't get near as much from the attack speed and crit as he does from the other two. Yeah. So, so that's a good yeah. kick from Lee Sin, but once again, they just don't have the damage and coordination to really pull off a kill lane here. No, it's just, it's just not working out for them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah. Killing can be really good when you can execute it, but at this point, you know, just about any other regular support would have been more helpful for your team. Definitely. Like, you have, for killing like a store, you have to be working, like, you have to be on the same page as your AD carry. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Yep. And it, clearly, they aren't on the same page, so I'm not really sure why you'd pick lease in support without being on the same page as this AD carry. I don't know what the deal is with that. So... I don't know. Maybe he just felt like playing Lee Sin. Yeah, it could be. It's not really the best thing for your team if you're going to be supporting. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. So no uh, one's gotten back to getting that dragon ever since that first attempt. No. I don't know. Oh, the Victor's, Victor oh shows wow. That yeah, that Q da auto attack damage is... When you combine really it with a Sheen, it does stupid amounts. Yeah, he's yeah. got in his second upgrade, too. Yeah, what did he, get, what did he take second? He... Looks like his... Took the laser. Yep. Okay, like, right here now is where Reg should be seriously considering Dragon. Mm -hmm. Even though Lee Sin is super low, they just 
Chase Yas bot lane out. They did see Yasuo coming down the bottom lane, so Lee Sin should not. They yeah. should not be trying to back right there. Uh, that is incredibly uh, risky. Yeah. If I, if I was Yasuo right there, I would have gone immediately to the bush because mm -hmm. you you want to make sure they're not doing that. Ooh. Oh, that's a great um, gravity field. That was from a Victor. great gravity field. He had almost no time to react from when the um, his alt channel finished to when he got stunned. Okay, that was just red team overstaying their their welcome down there, really. Yep. Uh, so now blue team's pinging out to uh, start dragging. Now they blue wants dragon. Yeah, they don't have any ward control over it, which is the problem here. They have the one pink in the river, but that's it. And it's not seeing anything. They do have a two-man advantage. You know, yeah. everyone does come down, but yeah, they just don't have any wards, and Wukong I, is really low, so... Yeah, the, the Wukong that... being low is, quest is risky. Mm -hmm. I don't hate the call, though. Yeah. They just need to make sure they can keep Jarvan away. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's somebody who wasn't Wukong being low, it wouldn't even be questionable, I don't think, but the fact that he's going to smite is really risky. At least in just staying at the outskirts here, not able to do much at this point. If he was a Thresh, he'd be able to do something. If he was Soraka, he'd be able to do something. But at least in at this point, with only a, a long sword, can't do much to help out. His he sword. just doesn't bring enough utility in team fights. Mm -hmm. Is the problem? Nope. He goes nice kick, in though. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um. Really questionable. Uh huh. So that worked out really well for Blue Team, but I don't think they can get the dragon anymore. Well, they could. I, they could get it. They have three people down Maybe. there and a Nami heal. True. I don't know. So it wouldn't be a particularly man. fast Baron, though. No, it would not. Or not Baron, Dragon. I don't know. They, they could have still gone for it, but... Jarvan, man. They could just go and push lanes. Jarvan, you gotta finish off your spirit item before you... He bought a giant yeah, spell too, giant so. spell then. I'm hoping that Ruby Crystal is going into your jungle item, not into a Warmogs. Or for, or for some crazy reason, a Frozen Mallet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope not. I don't hate it near as much as Phone does, but no. it's not that great of an item. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. so, uh, yeah, no, dude, you gotta, you gotta finish that jungle item. Mm -hmm. You're just giving up so much free gold. Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, right now he's well, he's only uh, 600 behind Wukong, and Wukong's got another kill and more assists. Yeah. So he's not too far behind on gold, actually. He's not terribly far, but it does start to add up. Mm -hmm. Like with Wukong's earned 200 bonus gold just because he has his item completed. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Jarvan will complete it eventually, but why not finish it earlier so he can get the free gold? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a ways for otherwise. Good. Um. All right. So Victor has upgraded all of his cores at this point, and just going to be doing crap tons of damage. Goodbye, Rise. Yeah. You are not scary enough, nor do you have enough magic resist to handle Victor right now, because mm -hmm. he's kind of spiking a bit. Yeah. He's um, probably going to die now. <laughs> yeah. To the gravity. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Burn. Wukong ult into the Yasuo, really good combo, and that Ezreal just feeling like a mosquito bite at this point. Not near enough damage from him right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, all that Ezreal is going S3 vert here. That's a really weird build. They do work really well in combination, especially with a new um, blue build. Sure, they work well enough in combination, but he's not mana starved enough to need that. No, but like I'm saying, once la later on, once you get your um, your mana, you can constantly leave it up at that point if you have Essence Reaver. And Essence Reaver on Ezreal is still a good item because it provides plenty of damage as well as uh, cooldown reduction. But I mean, he still doesn't have his boots. Uh, it it would have been better to see that as a first item, if not Trinity Force. Um. Yeah, this one, uh, Maokai just completing. Did he just complete his? No, he did that uh, five minutes ago. He has. He's. He's had his rod up for a while. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Dragon is still up here. Blue Team does have control of it this time. 
so Wukong should have been should be pinging right now to try to do dragon because the smite is up and uh, once his team is back. A summoner has disconnected. It's not that blue build is bad. It's just that um, it's not the situation for it here. It has very it's, limited situations. It's very situational. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. It's just, I'm not sure why he would choose to build it. Like, his situation is where it's good, but it's never really amazing. Yeah. Like, just standard Trinity Force build is, by default, just better, really. Yeah. So... I don't know. I mean, Essence Re the item Essence Reaver is still a good item as a second item for Ezreal. Yeah, it's solid. So blue team should be picking out Dragon here for the first time. They do start it before Wukong gets there, uh, but they did have ward control. Um, let's see, both teams, three turrets apiece. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay, that there's the dive mid lane. That's just yeah. Oh, Wukong and the it's terrifying. So they have the ex the um, podcast major going on tonight. The journey to thirty thing apparently is supposed to be on like ten minutes ago. Oh, I thought they did that. Um, yeah, right how those two Wednesday podcast. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like tonight I was saying in Twitch, it's just you're so slow to get to any kind of super power on blue build Israel is the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't even get the same spike from just building. Like, Wait. hey, look, I have Infinity Edge, now I'm scary. Hey, look, now I've got, you know, Static yeah. Ship, now I'm scary, like most other AD carries do. It's like, you have to have, like, all of your items before you're at all scary. So. Uh. And at this point, since he sunk this much gold into it, let's say he is going his blue build. He is at 630 mana on his tier. He needs to upgrade that as soon as possible instead of going for Ice War and Gauntlet, I think is what he's going to try to build into next. <coughs> yeah, probably. Apparently, Craven's ult disappears um, at the Baron fight later on in the game for no reason. So I'll have to watch for that. Okay, I'm curious here. So, Victor's Q at this point. Let's see. It's gonna hit really hard. Okay, so it'll be... Um, 170 damage, and then 240, plus his Lich Bane, which will do another, basically, 240. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is a lot, basically. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just looking at his skill to see how much it does. Yeah, it's got actually a, a <coughs> it's actually a really big chunk of... Like a really big AP ratio by the end of the game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy, actually. Oh yeah, I mean, he's with level 14. He's got 144 AP off of the core. Yep. A uh, good old uh, Yasuo is gonna shove top here. Okay, I, I see Victor. Yeah, it's all time cooldown, but I didn't see, don't see it sitting around. That's weird. Yeah. I'm just coming back to watch this because that'd be a most unfortunate bug. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, they're gonna be able to get a lot off of this here because they got super minions on the Nexus already. 
Oh, no, the ult was there. Okay. It just followed somebody into the um, river bush. Mm. So you couldn't really see it. So actually, no, his ult didn't disappear. At least jumping back. I don't know if maybe the particle disappeared. I don't know. Uh, good but idea for Corky to pick up the Bloodthirster uh, instead of uh, Blade as a second item. Yeah, especially when they're pushing as hard as they are. Yeah. Just the flat AD is going to help you with turret taking way more than anything else. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, so I'm curious if the ult actually didn't. if it still did damage or not. Uh, but, Victor's ult? I don't know. Yeah, or if it just was a particle problem or what. I don't know. Hmm. That was weird. It might it might be just that's so much less noticeable now too. Could have been just we just it's just not as easy to see in the fights. I don't know. Are you communicating with uh battle uh you know, thirty to thirty people right now? Uh a little bit. Not a ton. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. And we'll probably do it if we can at least another game. Yeah, because we I still know. get some interest from people. Journey thirty is like what half an hour? Yeah. Could potentially even just have a half hour break between this. Let them do it if they can start afterwards. Yeah, we can do that. I'm not by any means tight on time, so. Oh, there's the Baron from Blue, and I don't know why Wukong flashed there. Yeah. Well, I guess like, they can at this point. They're. Yeah, know, I guess. Thirteen k gold ahead. It's look. It's still a waste, though. Like, yeah. Just because you're ahead doesn't mean, hey, I can randomly flash over a wall that I don't need to. Well, doing Baron at all is kind of unnecessary for them. Well, yeah. I mean, Baron will help him close it out. But he could have easily just walked around. There wasn't, like, me specifically testing for it. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're flashing over the wall for Baron, you sh that should be like a, I'm trying to outsmite somebody and steal the Baron on yeah. them or something. But uh, Blue team should be splitting up at this point, sending at least one person top, probably Yasuo. <laughs> So you can, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd send the ass to a top. Focus. Or they can um, just do this. Okay, yeah. That works too. <laughs> just murdering the other team. <laughs> it, it's a perfectly viable option as well for killing inhibitors. Yep. At this point, there's no way red team can ever win a 5 on 5. No, they're. Blue really brought a very good Wombo team. Mm -hmm. Just Wukong and Yasuo setting it up. Nami can just throw her ult right down the middle because they're going to be stuck in Wukong ult anyways. And then your Ryze is just going to sit there and pump out damage. Yeah. Same with Corky. Yeah, and like so. you said before, red team is just lacking in damage and utility. Yeah, the, the Lee Sin pick really hurt them a lot. <laughs> I don't know. And especially Lee Sin with an Ezreal. Yeah. I don't know. I hope it was fun, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to see if the uh, Journey of 30 guys just want to do it now? Sure. Because I imagine a lot of people didn't realize it was starting this much earlier, too. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. I, I didn't realize it was much earlier. I keep forgetting that Badger is East Coast times. <laughs> I'm like... Oh, hey, that's now I'm getting food right now, but okay. Uh, let's see where everyone ended in that. Corky 220CS. It, he, I never mentioned this, he did a good job farming in lane. He was way up on Ezreal, and that was partially again due to Lee Sin, but... Yeah, at least it was just a, just not a good pick. Uh huh. I don't know. Cool. Um, I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to bring up after this? Uh, not for this game here. I think that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll pass this off to the journey to thirty guys and let them do their thing, and yep. we'll be back with more games after they're done. All right. So let's do that.